Welcome to a quick guide on how to counter Legion. Now in theory, Legion is one of the weakest killers in the game, yet in practice he's actually performing alright, and from experience I can tell that people have trouble dealing with him accordingly. The best way to counter Legion is by denying him his power outright. There are many ways to do this, but one is by palace stunning him. This drains Legion's frenzy meter completely and prevents him from roaming to other survivors on the map. Many players drop pallets prematurely and thus Legion just vaults the pallet and gets a free hit. When facing off against Legion, you are essentially playing a game of chicken. Legion wants to bait the pallet drop so he can get a free hit. All you have to do here is to stand your ground and not give in. Legion is the one who is on a timer, which by default is 10 seconds, and will have to make a move eventually. If Legion goes in for a hit, you should have time to stun him and trade a health state for his power. Even if Legion doesn't activate his power, just stand by the pallet and try and bait out the stun. In worst case scenario, you will take a hit in which case no pallet was wasted and Legion doesn't get to use his power. If Legion also hits you with a basic attack, he loses 5 charges which is half his power. The only time I wouldn't do this is when you're injured or Legion has enduring a spirit fury, but that is only really a problem if it's a reverse pallet stun as well. You can also do window jukes and pallet jukes by vaulting a window or pallet and rotate it back in on Legion and then vault the pallet or window back over again. Legion vaults further than other killers which is why something like the combine can be similar useful against him as he might fall down. However, in most cases Legion will just vault back over this is only really useful if you can make Legion miss or if he's about to run out of his power. Flash heights can also stop Legion's power, but do not drain the frenzy meter. When Legion is chasing you, just vault the window or pallet and be ready to blind him when he jumps over. The animation is a bit fast, but with a bit of practice you will get it down in no time. The only time I would be cautious about this is when you're injured as it can lead to a free down for Legion as he doesn't suffer from a stun timer. You can also try and do this in the open, this has a very limited success, but if you do not have any other options, it is something to consider. You can also help other players to try and chain your flash knights together to try and stop Legion's frenzy. You can also try and blind Legion as he comes charging towards you and then knock down the pallet to get a stun on him. Firecrackers can similar to flash knights also blind Legion to deny him his power. 99 healing with dead heart is another powerful strategy. If Legion sees you're injured, he will most likely not use his feral frenzy, but instead chase you like a regular killer. When Legion is about to get to you, pop the 99 heal, and you can now run away while having denied his power once more. Dead heart is also incredibly useful for this, as you can make the killer miss and then pop the 99 heal afterwards if needed. If Legion misses, this will also drain his entire power and end his frenzy. In a more strategic sense, if one of your teammates gets hit, run away and find a pallet or window and use the stats from above. There is no point in hiding against a legion who just hit a survivor with his power, as killer instinct will kick in and legion can see you no matter where you are, even in loggers. This only applies if you are within his tear radius, which is extended to 40 meters. In terms of doing gens, then never group up against legion, as this can make him snowball by hitting multiple survivors. Instead, split up and do gens separately. In terms of getting injured, then it would never really heal as you can make Legion's power redundant. The only time I would recommend healing is if Legion is camping or you have quick healing like a med kit will make it autodidact or aiming for a 99 heal. Also let other teammates mend themselves. Time is overall wasted as self mending takes 12 seconds and mending a teammate takes 8 seconds, a net loss of 4 seconds. It's not a lot, but it matters. In terms of perks, you should expect Legion to run some of the following perks. Discordance, Tinkerer, Enduring, Spirit Fury, Bamboozle, Thanaphobia, Mangled, Barbecue, Pop Goes the Weasel, Ruin, Undying, and Corrupt Intervention, as well as his free cheatables. In terms of counter perks, then you have all the exhaustion perks. Your spine shield so you know whatever legion is going for you or someone else. Bond and empathy to basically help you uh, stay away from other teammates and avoid grooming up unintentionally. 